All right, what I'm doing now is I'm going to show you how to make a Dutch bucket, okay? Uh, and I've got these buckets down here that I cut the top off right here and just made them. These are nine inches tall, nine inches or nine inches deep or whatever. Uh, so some of those are ten inches deep. But anyway, and then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this bucket over here and I'm going to measure up two inches. So, two inches up. And I'm going to drill this hole at exactly two inches, but first I got to drop this out. And the only way these will come out, which is crazy, is I have to do this because that's drilling two inch PVC and it's really strong. Because I'll show you in a minute what happened or what I drilled. Okay, then I put that on, go back on my drill. That hole that I made right there is hopefully where we're gonna drill to. Right at the two inch mark. So we'll start there. Make, make my hole and then just slowly go in. Pull it out. Now I'm going to drag, take my razor, and I'm going to shave off this stuff. Then I'm going to do the same I thing. Zoom in. No, me too. I'm going to do the same thing on the inside. Zooming in is that button right yeah, there. Just figured it out. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing on the inside, where I'm just going to peel all this stuff off and try to get it cleared off on the inside. You know, it doesn't go good, good when you're doing it on camera, but it goes perfect when you don't do it on camera. Anyway, then I'm grabbing a grommet. Now, these are made for half-inch PVC. So, I can put my half-inch PVC through. I don't know what size they are. I'm sorry. I bought them from Granger. Granger.com online is where you can order them. Can call them. I happen to have one here in Plano that I drove down to because I ordered the wrong ones. Drove down there, turned them in, got the right ones, and uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and put them in. And you kind of got to work them in, and you just work them around until they all fit in there perfectly. And then you go on the inside, make sure you get all the edges around. There. There you go. That's it. It's in. Looks like it's good. Now I'm going to measure one of these at about three inches. You can see it's about approximate. I don't honestly care if it's more or less. I just cut that. Now the hard part is to get this thing in. The trick is to just rub it. I saw this online with another gentleman. I'm going to have to remember his name and give him a uh, right. shout out on that. But I can't remember. You just kind of round the edges off a little bit and then I just wet it so it slides in easier. Holding your hand on the inside and pushing right here this, and then just spin it right in and it goes in perfectly. Now I'm taking, which I got Let's go fittings, and I don't know where I ordered these. I'll have to go get the box that shows, because these fittings were like a third the price, or even less than that, getting them than you would get them on uh, at Home Depot or Lowe's, the big box guys that charge you way too much money. See, there we're all set. Now, since I already measured and I don't know what it is, I'm just going to grab one of these off that I already have. I've cut. It depends. That that's according to how which, how high up you have to go. And I'm just going to cut that with these things here that are about 100 years old, maybe a little less, 99. Put this on just like that. I don't need to put it on yet, but I can actually drop that straight down just like that. It goes right into the hole. Now coming over here, I'm going to go ahead and cut another hole. So, I'll show you how I do that. I'm going to measure this. 
I'm gonna get my uh, trusty tools to do that. Again, I gotta pull this piece of plastic off. He's using his cheap contract locks, bu buckets because he owns a pest control company. Yep. So he has the buckets for free. Yeah, and that's got uh, a rodicide or whatever it is. Rod Rodenticide. It kills it. rats, yeah. but he rents them out yeah, really well. Them good, but I still probably shouldn't be using them. But I'm not going to argue that one. Okay, now I'm going to guesstimate here, and I'm going to guesstimate right there that that's where that needs to be drilled. And if I get it wrong, it's just a bit two inch piece of PVC pipe. I'm going to grab another one, which is about $7 at the at Lowe's or Home Depot. I'm going to put that down and hopefully not spin around. And I'm just going to go straight in. And I'll clean all this out and blow it out later. And then, uh, again, I stole the piece from over here. So basically what I've done as I've taken this grommet right here, and I've taken a half inch uh, elbow, I've put it on a piece here, I've taken this, pushed this through this uh, grommet right here. You can use um, anything you want to use, but it just grommet seemed to be the best. Put it through, and then on the inside, I'm gonna have another half inch. So basically it just sits like that in the bucket. Say that's it. So that's all we do. And it'll be facing down. The water's gonna go up to this level right here and drain, so there'll always be water in the bottom of the bucket. I'm gonna fill this up with pebble down there where the boy is. Basically, this stuff in my hand. I'm gonna put that in there, which is the clay pebbles. That's the Home Depot stuff. A little expensive. I didn't realize I'd get it cheaper if I bought it somewhere else. And that's the other clay pebbles down there. But now I'll just push this on here. And that bucket is done, ready to go. Put it in. Just gotta put the medium in there. And we're set. And then what I'll do is I'll just barely turn these on. And then I'm gonna be able to angle them. And I've got these long enough and if not, I'll make it a little bit longer where I can actually go down about two inches below the soil or below the uh, pebbles so that algae doesn't grow on the top, but the plant is getting the nutrients that it needs and the top will be totally dry and then we can keep it because this place right here is blocked from the sun. This is my west wall. This, the sun, not these suns, the big sun, comes up over the top and goes down this way. So basically, these are gonna be fairly shaded. Uh, and with our Texas sun, I'm thinking they're gonna do a lot better with that shade than they are just getting hammered with the sun. And because when I had these, before I put the shade cloth up here, these guys weren't going anywhere. Now all of a sudden they've taken off. So my guess is everything over there is gonna have enough light that it's gonna get what it needs. And by chance, if it doesn't, then I'm going to put Dutch buckets all the way across here. We'll have eventually have an eight foot fence so I can bring it down because my HOA says absolutely no to anything and everything that we do. Uh, so we'll have an eight foot fence which will cover everything and I'll be able to just shade cloth it like this. They'll never see it and then it'll work perfect. But that's later on. I don't want to spend a lot of money right now. I'm just trying to just cut things back. So that is it. That's my Dutch bucket, the way I have them made and the way I set them up. You can see my table right here is my trampoline. It works really good. I'll clean this up in a little bit. It's getting dark. Anyway, if uh, you have any questions, just uh, ask them down in the comment section. And uh, if you like this, go ahead and make a like on my page and subscribe to my page, please. Thank you. Bye.